Hello everyone, welcome to part dos of the G1 Climax here on the channel as uh, we are going to look at the standings after six weeks, so that will be uh, eight episodes, or no, just, uh, or not eight episodes, eight, uh, eight shows, yeah, because that were, we're at four, so yeah, uh, that's a perfect, perfect spot, just wanted to make sure, clarify that, uh, so we won't be looking at the standings or anything, we're just gonna go hop right back into the G1 Climax here for day 17, as, uh, oh, we're at Nabon Budokan. New Japan World. I see a Heyala Tamora Zack Sabre Jr. matchup and a Hiromu Nakamura match. Oh my god. What a match. Well, that's quite the one, too. Yano. Rock pizza, everyone. It's kind of funny I still have Toriano around, to be honest, because I really have no plans for him. He's just kind of there for morale's sake, because uh, Ishii's probably going to dip some microphone work, too. Harada. But yeah, I mean, there's some bangers on this show. Obviously, this is probably the main, though. Hiromu and Nakamura. What a fun, obviously, you know, this is kind of like the old, I wouldn't say the old school of New Japan, but like the, the previous decade of, of New Japan, uh, and, and then, you know, Hiromu, obviously, being more of like the kind of current gen, but even though he was obviously there for like the mid, mid to, uh, mid 2010s, obviously, but it's just, uh, feels like it's a whole different era, uh, of, of competitors there, and Hiromu will fall short, though, to Shinsuke Nakamura, so that's a big win for, for Nakamura, obviously, Beating a, a former heavyweight champion in this cheap one. Now, Morris is going to beat Zack Sabre Jr. That's a big win. That is a big win. And Ashino and Calvin Tankman. What a fun match this is, though, because Tankman's a giant compared to Shatoru Ashino. Shatoru Ashino is kind of on the smaller side when it comes to heavyweights. So that, this is, you know, as far as a kind of David and Goliath type matchup, but Ashino will beat him and uh, get that win, get those two points. Then probably Takeda and Joe Doring. That's the Masashi Takeda is going to beat Joe Doring. Oh, Joe, Joe Doring's best. Joe said, fuck that shit. I am a triple crown champion. <laughs> I respect it. Though, Katsuya Kinomura and Kenta. I mean, this is a, a hell of a match. We're going to obviously have to have a steal the matchup. I just felt like this was the best case scenario. Kenta's going to beat him. Fun match, though. I'm, I'm all about that. That match of the technical masterclass matchup. Let's see what we get. We'd love a Tenkoji match, to be honest. Because we haven't used... I know we haven't used Tenzan since April. Same thing for Kojima. So that'd be nice. And, you know, uh, Kojima's still recognizable. I'm just kind of looking to see. So, yeah, we could use Lockhart. We could use Jarvis. I'm trying to just see who'd be our best case scenario. Narita. It's crazy. That's the one guy I wish was better in this mod was Renarita because he's, I mean, he's got a match with Sexy Virginia at Wrestle Kingdom coming up. Like, he's, they're really pushing them pretty hard. And uh, and he's also, you know, pretty talented as well. That, that'd be someone that I would have loved this. Maybe, uh, eh, Strickland's not really that great technically, unfortunately. Maybe, uh, Yasu Takayano there? Don't hate that. Go with uh, Yasu Takayano and then uh, Yuto Nakashima, maybe. Maybe even Yui Mora. Have we got Gulak, too? We got a lot of guys we could really use. Yeah, let's go um, Gulak and Koi Jarvis. Really took my sweet time figuring that out. <laughs> Just for an opener that's probably going to suck ass because of pop. But uh, yeah, we'll have uh, Jarvis beat Tenzan. Because I'm still not giving up on Koi Jarvis. I should have. Should have a long time ago, but... Um, it's just hard to get rid of somebody when there's at least something for him to do, right? Even if it's the, the opener of an undercard, or, yeah, just the it's the opener of a match that's not really going to be important. It's still nice to have those guys. I think we're going to keep it in Budokan, to be honest. I mean, that's a hell of a main event. Yeah, let's run it. 58, okay. Yeah, I mean, Gulak and Jarvis outperformed him. That's a good win. Good win for Corey Jarvis over Tenzan. Belly the back suplex. 76 for Kenta and Kitamura. Kenta with a 91. That is fantastic. The Kenta combo into the Basaiku knee. Yeah, love to see it. 71 for Doring and Masashi Takeda. I can see why Doring's upset now. <laughs> it, it makes sense. But this is still a banger of a matchup. And that's a good performance from Doring. Especially. An 80. As a Shino and Calvin Dankman have a pretty good little matchup. Hango hold for Shino and 24-57. Got the crowd hotter for our co-main and main here. 93 for Hayato Tamar and Zack Sabre Jr. It's Hayato Tamar with the Hayato Driver just before the 27th of the market. That's a fantastic matchup. Let's we'll see how the main does. Yep. 
like, yeah, 98 is the Bumaye, the Nakamura right before the 30-minute uh, mark. Great shit. There, that's fantastic. What a show. Yeah, wait a... That's a nice... Obviously, Block A has just been fantastic for us. Because it's just... I mean, it's loaded with talent. You have, like, three guys that are in the 90-plus in, in bring performances, and then you have Heiro Tomura and Sexy Madrid. Actually, four, because Zach's usually doing it, and Ashino as well. There's been a lot of guys that have just been simply fantastic in this block. It's been... It's been great. It has been great. But on to the next night we go for the first show for Block B here for this part. Alrighty, day 18. So we got New Japan World, obviously, but uh, Tanashi Nakamura last year was the main here. That's, that's pretty good. <laughs> pretty good. As uh, Chris Charlton was brought for Wrestle Court, he was failing to pick up a share of the tab of the, of the shared rental car. Well, luckily for you, Chris Charlton, you should not be at this show. You should still be in the U.S. <laughs> So that's, that's unfortunate. Milano Collection 18 passing on tips on psychology to Yazu Takayano. Yeah, Shingo and Brian Danielson too on that card. That's that's pretty crazy. Uh, but yeah, the main is probably AJ and Ibushi. That's pretty awesome. They had a fantastic match. Is that, uh, I think that was Dominion, yeah? Or uh, was that Sakura Genesis? Because I think, or uh, might have been Wrestling Dutaku even. It was definitely after he won the New Japan Cup, Abushi, and then he had the title match with AJ, and you know, Omega came out to really distract him, and I believe it was, that was the Phoenix Splash into the Styles Clash finish, which is just nuts. That, that's a that's a fun match, though. I think this is the first time we've done this in the save, yeah, yeah I figured so. But AJ's going to beat him right before the 30-minute mark, so he'll have a New Japan Strong open weight title match in the future. Komain's an interesting one, because Tanahashi and Goto, like, Tanahashi's good, but Goto's shit, so... Probably shouldn't be doing that. Maybe Hammerstone and Juice Robinson? That's a fun match, though, when, you know, Injustice versus Liberty United, of course, the former stablemates colliding here for the first time, and Juice is gonna beat him in 24 minutes, then Tanahashi and Goto. That works for me, Tanahashi's gonna win in 20 minutes, oh, he's the road agent. And we'll have it be Shibata, yep, and Goto camp. Goto's the shit. Jay White and Shelton Benjamin. Fun match. Jay White's going to beat him in 24 minutes, the Never Boy champ. Looking strong. Then uh, Fujinami and the Great Okan. As the Great Okan going to get the win in 10 minutes. Obviously, Seth for steal the show there. We need a Technomized class, of course. Yes. Just one. <laughs> I don't know why I double check that. Because obviously, that's what we need. Uh, we might actually just go with a singles of Hanare and. We might go Cobb. Might either go Cobb here or we might go Shelly. I think it's a, a good idea. Sucks we don't have a, a third for uh, in, for Injustice. So that could really help them out. Damn, but... Uh, yeah, I guess we're going to go Cobb here. I think that's, uh, that's the plan. Yeah, but it's obviously the, the former Super Island Destroyer teammates. They've had the, the one G1 matches two years ago. Uh, we're going to give it to Hanari, though. So I just feel like Hanari needs to win a little bit more. Big night for uh, for Injustice, though. Beating both uh, Jeff Cobb and Alexander Hammerstone, which Cobb's a little upset by, but that's okay. We'll make it work. Oh, didn't mean to... Hit all that. Trying to just bump up to see if we should run Osaka Joe Hall. No, we should not. Yeah, I guess Chubu here. Go with the, uh... Wait, where's that fucking, uh... Yeah, the Nagoya Civic General Gymnasium. Perfect. Nice 10,000 seater, though. Doing pretty good. 63 here. Yeah, that's the right decision. Already outperformed him. Spitting Spine Buster there in 20 minutes. Not bad. 75 for the Great Okan Leona Fujinami. They have great chemistry, so that worked out really well. The Tenzan Tombstone Driver for the Great Okan, though. Got the crowd buzzing. Did that match up? And another match that has great chemistry. How about that Jay White with the Blade Runner on Shelton Benjamin? 2340. It's a good little match. And 80 for Tanahashi and, the, and Hiroki Goto with the High Fly Flow. Yeah. Way to go, Tanahashi. Go, Ace, go. 78 for Hammerstone Juice. It wasn't uh, too off. Only two point difference, but Juice with the Pulp Friction in 2348. He's been tremendous as well, I think, for earlier this G1. 
And an 86, what a win for AJ Styles here. Springboard 450, yeah, I guess we shouldn't bust out the Phoenix Splash, uh, get caught into a Styles Clash finish. But uh, that, the Springboard 450 is fine. It's fine now. Yeah, I mean, it is what it is there. I think we'll just, uh, that's a hell of a match. So obviously, Ibushi's the man still, AJ. I think he's definitely feeling the effects of his age and, and whatnot in the mod. But uh, it's a good, decent little show. Put over both uh, AJ and Ibushi. Shout out Koto Ibushi, though. He didn't even complain about it. He's the goddamn man. And, uh, yeah, we'll put over Jeff Cobb, too. But we probably shouldn't, but since we didn't keep him strong, we might as well just give him a little something, something there. On to the next night here for Block C. Alrighty, day 19 is uh, the New Japan World. So we got backstage incidents. A couple of them. F fuck yeah. I mean, this is exactly <laughs> the type of shit we wanted. Just works out. That That's fantastic. Then Kojima's passing on microphone work to Heiara Tamora. I mean, I love it when a plan comes together like that. That is perfect. Absolutely perfect. Man, what a... Uh, Obviously, it sucks that we don't have the Okada match, but uh, Valter and Miro, that's a match I desperately need in real life. That would be incredible. Pac and Naito's a hell of a match. Shingo and, and Brody's a fun match as well. That's probably the co-main. This is probably the main, though. Pac and Naito, that's that's a hell of a match. And Pac's going to beat them. Don't think they've ever had... Oh, they have. They had a G1 match two years ago. It's another win for Pac here over Naito. That's a hell of a match, though. Damn. Yeah, that's massive. Massive win. Then Brody and Shingo. Uh, which, I do love this match. Shingo's gonna beat him. I believe this is, uh, yeah, I would say Brody's beaten him every year. Uh, as far as, uh, in the, the first G1 we ran. And he beat him, uh, the second New Japan Cup that we ran. So it's been a while since they've had a match, but that, that should go over pretty well. Hopefully Shingo getting that win. But yeah, this Volta Miro match. I mean, just inject this fucking match into my veins. But Miro's gonna beat him. In 28 minutes, we're gonna give them a lot of time. Because that match was fucking awesome. Then Fredericks is going to lose to Ketori Shibata and steal the show matchup. God damn it, Shibata. Everybody now that's older and older, they can't work <laughs> as long as they used to. But uh, as far as matchup here that I would like to see. Yeah, maybe uh, just Takuya Nomura and uh, Fuminori Abe with the astronauts. Let's see who they could take on. That would at least make sense. Let's go. Yeah, let's just go Jeff Cobb and Alex Shelley. So we'll have um, Takuya Nomura. Beat Jeff Cobb. Poor Jeff Cobb keeps on losing to people. <laughs> We've kind of needed a match for the Q the more. And fortunately, you know, we probably should have went with like, yeah, actually, yeah, let's do that instead. Let's go with Yano and uh, yeah, let's go with any just kind of junior that we want. We can go with Rocky or we can go with Robbie Eagles. Well, that's right, Robbie Eagles is part of. Uh, Fucking House of Black now. As um, yeah, we'll, we'll just go Rocky. Yeah, that's a little bit. That makes a little bit more sense, at least. Oh well, Viano lose though. There we go. Then we can have uh, whatever match we want as the opener. Let's uh, let's have Robbie Eagles and El Kakui team up. Um, Got, well, I'm thinking of them. Got them on the brain. Uh, they can take on the team. I think we're going to have them take on some Young Alliance. I think, um, yeah, Kosai Fuji then. Oiwa. And yeah, it's just an easy one for, for Eagles and El Kakui. We'll give El Kakui the win. Listen, his new gimmick, he's supposed to be coming back any day now <laughs> for New Japan. If they have him be El Kakui, boy, I'm going to look like a genius. But now they, they're obviously not going to do that. That's, uh, that would not, that's not, that's not going to happen. <laughs> but it's, it's nice to imagine. It's nice to think. A man can hope. As, uh, listen, if 
Saudi Arabia can beat Argentina, and if Japan can beat Germany in the World Cup, anything can happen. Anything can happen. Let's go. Yeah, let's go. With... See what we got. Yeah, the key to perfectional gym. Just want to double check, make sure that's just because, yeah. Figure that's the case, but sometimes you just want to double check, make sure everything's all squared away. Ooh! Kosai Vegeta's got his bladder ruptured. That is not good. That does not sound great at all. Robbie Eagleson was tremendous. The 64. Oiwa outperformed El Kukui. Oiwa's ready to go, man. He's, we just gotta get him out of the Young Lion phase, get him on the excursion, and he'll be ready. He will be ready. 58 for astronauts against Rocker Marin Toriano. Oh, yeah, the crowd wasn't properly engaged because the opener sucked, so. That hurt that match, but uh, he had to Takuna Moore and, and Abe did pretty well there, 70 and 69. But uh, yeah, Takuna Moore with a dragon suplex on Toriano. Surprised Yano can even take a dragon suplex, to be honest. 59 here for Fredericks and Ketsuo Shibata. Shibata's just kind of sucking. <laughs> it breaks my heart. Because Carl Fredericks outperformed him. But I got a 59. 81 here for Volta Miro. Miro with the game over. I mean, yeah. This match is fucking awesome, though. I need to see that in real life. Brody and Shingo. Shingo outperforms him. Shingo gets the win. They last for the Dragon. 24-20. It's a big win. Big win. I know Brody's gotten some some losses already in this tournament, but um, I think that one that was a deserved loss, you know, there. But Pac and Naito with a with an 86, rather. Knight, uh, Naito with an 85. Pac with a 91. Black Arrow from Pac. 25 minutes. Hell of a match. Hell of a match there. Yeah, it was a banger. Yeah, I mean, we probably should have Miro Volter be the co-main. But it's still a it was a good show. Very pleased with that. Yeah, let's put over Pac. Let's put over Naito. And, uh, yeah, let's put over Shingo as well. Good, some good stuff. A pretty good show. Now we're into the 20s now. As, uh, as far as the fifth show for Block D coming up. Then we'll run through all the... Uh, as, far, as far as all the blocks, their day six shows. And we'll be looking at the standings very, very shortly. Can't believe it. Alrighty, day 20. And so they got us in Sumo Hall for this one. New Japan World. Another game backstage instance. A lot of them. Pac entering the locker room by organizing a poker tournament. Flamita. Spot for versus court. Quote, uh, accused of not joining the rest of the locker room for a night out. As the judge, Roshi Tanashi, found him guilty in citizen by drinks right after the show. Let's see what Kojima's doing. Yeah, pass with all my work to Hayata Tamora. Figured. <laughs> oh my goodness. Theodore is uh, feeling some type of way. My goodness, uh, but let's see what we got for our main. So I do love that Brian Dance and Domer Ishii match. Unfortunately, Ishii's just kind of not the same. Sonata Roderick Strong, that's a fun match. That's a match I'm really looking forward to seeing. We'll have that go on last, actually. Sonata's going to beat him. 25 minutes. Hobbs and Alexander as the co-main. They had a match. Yeah, New Japan Strong, one of the first kind of couple of strong tapings. In uh, October, and uh, and it was a 36. This is gonna do way better than a 36 now. Like that's gonna be like in the 70s probably, maybe even the 80s. But Hobbs is gonna beat him. It's gonna go 24 minutes. Yeah, then Brian Danielson and Tomori Ishii here. Brian's gonna beat him. 28 minutes, giving them a lot of time. Definitely playing against Ishii's strength there. And then Evil and Kingston. Kingston's going to beat him in 20. Brody King versus Tyler Black, which is steal the show match. And we're going to have Brody get the win. That's, uh, yeah, it's massive. Bit unhappy is Tyler Black. Well, welcome to putting somebody over. <laughs> That's how we do things around here. As, uh, yeah, then we'll go with a tag as the opener. Technical Masterclass match, if we can. Let's go with Ishimori and Drew Parker. Where the hell is Where the hell is Ishimori? And so we'll have him take on the uh, Robbie Eagles El Kukui team. Since we're doing House of Black versus. Actually, let's make it a six man. Yeah, let's go uh, Eagles, Kukui, and then obviously Malachi Black. Then uh, let's just. Let's see, we get Ishimori. 
And then I guess we'll use Sujior for this. Go 17. Really want to give this to Tommy in, but I just don't think he, he like justifies that rating, unfortunately. We'll go with Robbie Eagles, 11 beat Drew Parker. He's probably going to be the best guy on that team. So that just kind of makes sense there. So yeah, but we can't run Chubu. Yeah, they haven't ran here in a hot-ass minute. Let's run the convention center. Alrighty. Day 20. Let's run it. 64 for the opener. Yeah, Rob Eagles uh, was almost the best guy in the match. Him and Ishimori did really well there. Okakui kind of dropped the ball a little bit. Yeah, Malachi Black actually did really well. Uh, 55. Should have probably had him beat. Tsujiura. Well, that's, I mean, that's a fun little match. Fun little opener. As uh, Rob Eagles, the pulse drop on Drew Parker. 77 for Brody King and Tyler Black. Yeah, Tyler Black, I mean, he's... He's definitely, like, in the steal the show setting. I think that's definitely going to be his strength a little bit until we get his pop-up, but... Yeah, 75. He did a really good job. Did a really good job. That's 74 for Kingston and Evil. This would be a fun match, honestly. I think, stylistically, if you kind of took Evil back to before he was uh, the, the piece of shit that he is now, if you kind of, you know, had, like, L.I.J. Evil in this match, probably be a banger, to be honest. I think they could actually I think work really well together. Back fist of the future, though, for Eddie Kingston getting the win. Brian Danielson <laughs> being to Marishi with cat emulation. Again, this has just been the Brian Danielson to where we're just throwing him against anybody, and he'll have a great match with them. And, uh, yeah, that I mean, evident there. Ishii's rating, unfortunately. But, uh, Will Hobbs and Josh Alexander, order of business. Will Hobbs getting the win, 24-21. Yeah, probably should have Brian main event the show. I mean, at least Sonata and Roger Strong, I had a, a good feeling about that match, and it delivered. Sonata with the uh, skull end on Roger Strong, 25-07. It's a banger. Banger little matchup. I can't believe it outperformed uh, Dancer and Ishii. That's a fun show. How about that? Way to go. Sonata. Gonna get some love. We're gonna give some love to Tyler Black. And then... Yeah, I guess Brian Danielson. Good show. That's a really good show for Block D. On to show 21 we go. Alrighty. As uh, the show in Ryu Goku... Don't think we'll run there, but... Well, we got no backstage instance for the first time in this part. That is nice. I'm trying to think it's... Uh, we're back in Osaka here? I think that's... I think that's the last... Kind of place we ran. We'll either sell out the World Memorial Hall, or we'll be at like... Three or four thousand shy of a sellout at the Osaka Joe Hall... Arena. I think we're gonna actually run... The War Memorial Hall, actually. Even though no, that's kind of more Dragon Gate's place uh, that they run. That's okay, though. As, um, yeah, I mean, Kent and Doring's a fun match. Nakamura and Tankman. That's a banger. Hey, Ayala Tamora and Oromu. We'll probably that be the main, actually. So Oromu's gonna beat Ayala Tamora. That's a big win. Have they had a match before? They had a tag match, but no singles. Wow. But yeah, Oromu's gonna beat Ayala Tamora there. Kent and Doring. As the co-main. Doring's going to be Kenta. It's a big win for Joe Doring. Tankman and Nakamura. Shinsuke's going to be Tankman. And, uh, yeah, then I guess uh, Takeda and uh, Ashino. Is uh, Shotoro Ashino going to get the win? This is a fun match, though. That would be quite a banger to see. Then Zack Sabre Jr. and Ketsuya Kitamura. Of course, the United Empire stablemates colliding here. As uh, Zack's going to beat him in 13 minutes. Going to catch him in a hold. And beat him, but that could have been a fun one to have Kitamura win. That have been wild. Just using his, his raw strength and power to, like, overcome Zack Sabre Jr. But the technical wizard. The wizardry on display from Zack Sabre Jr. And he's able to, to pull off a, a submission win. Ah, uh, let's go. I'm trying to think what would be a fun little opening contest. Yeah, obviously we have the junior tag champs. Let's just kind of look at the here as far as... Maybe we can go with a chaos. 
Yeah, let's go with a um, Rocky and Yo teaming against. Uh, it won't be. Oh, I'm thinking it wasn't going to be the Lucha Brothers. I thought it was going to be Ashino or not Ashino Shoto Yumino in there, but um, th this will work though. This is fine. Pentagon Jr. is going to be Yo. And that is day 21 in the books. You're just rolling right along. Let's run it. See what we get. 73 for the opener. That's a solid opener. So you have two teams like some chemistry. Can't beat that. Cross arm bar from Pentagon Jr. there. Second best guy in the match. Obviously, Ray Phoenix way above everybody else in that matchup. 66 for Zack Sabre Jr. and Kitsuya Kimura. Another match that got hurt because of uh, not enough time given. But obviously, we knew this one was going to hurt a little bit. But Zack with the European clutch in uh, 12.46. Don't think that would be the finish. I I would like to see that spot where he put, tries to get him in the European clutch, but he just overpowers him. So 81 for Shino and Masashi Takeda. As uh, Shino with an ankle hold in 22.59, obviously the other GP Everweight champions had some good performances in this G1. If I do say so myself. Then Kenta and Doring. Revolution bomb for Doring over Kenta in 28.22. Shout out Kenta for not complaining about putting him over. See, clearly our performance was a 90. And then 87. Oh, they have great chemistry, but again, nobody with some psychology out there, huh? But uh, Haruma with a 97. He had a tomorrow with an 85. Banger of a matchup, though. Unfortunate about the chemistry thing. Oh, we completely skipped over Shinsuke Nakamura. What the hell happened there? He, they got a 95. Nakamura and Tangman. Jesus Christ. Like, I figured that match was going to be really good, but... Wow. I can't believe that happened. Like, uh, I'm sure you guys saw. Like, I didn't even... I must have clicked it, like, so many times. The, the, the next segment, it just skipped right on over without even me noticing. That is unfortunate. That could have been a hell of a show. Damn. Well, that is day 21. In the books. It's on to day 22 we get. Alrighty. Day 22. <laughs> Theodore's excited for this. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right, as Alex Reynolds was brought before Russia's court, accused of not joining the rest of the locker room for a night out, as the judge rushed down out, she found them guilty and sent some white drinks went after the show. So as far as the main, I guess AJ and Juice? Tanashi and Fujinami's a, a good co-main, though. Fun match, though, AJ and Juice. So Juice is going to beat him. That's a hell of an upset. He might have an apple for him, to be honest. AJ's a little unhappy about that. Tanahashi and Fujinami. What an upset here. Fujinami beating Hiroshi Tanahashi. What a win. And Tanahashi is super pissed. Could definitely see why that would be the case. But we're, we're really trying to shock some people here. With this show. Then Abushi and Goto. Setting this for Steel the Show. Abushi's going to get the win in 10 minutes. I'm sure Goto's going to still struggle with that time. Yep. Jay White and Hammerstone. Fun little match. Jay White's going to beat him in 28 minutes. It's a lot of time given. And uh, Shelton Benjamin, Great Khan. As uh, the Great Khan going to beat Shelton Benjamin there in 20 minutes. Yeah, let's go with... Uh, let's go Jarvis and... I'm trying to think would be... We should use Makabe or Gresham. I think we'll use Makabe. We'll go with the Canadians. Teaming up. They'll take on the team of King Mo. And trying to think what would be the best if if you if we should use Lockhart here. Yeah, well he's dares. I haven't used him since April. Jesus. It's fucking August already. <laughs> he's been sitting at home doing nothing. Well I'm not gonna beat Lockhart. Good shit. Yeah, not not a show for Kanto. I don't think that I don't think that would it's really in the cards for us. Yeah, we'll run this. Wow, we're gonna sell it out. Oh, we're used to, we've been used to selling it out. Never mind. I don't know why I got so excited there, but just uh, usually, I guess because we normally run it as a tour show. I, I think that's why. But Makabe and Jarvis beating uh, Lockhart and King Mo. It's a good performance, obviously from Makabe. Really, the the heavy lifter of this one. He gets the one the Makabe lock in 16 minutes. I got a 69. 
57 for Shelton Benjamin and the Great Okan. They don't click. That hurt. Uh, there's a lot. Plus, Okan was off his game, too. Cobra clutch, though, from the Great Okan in 20 minutes. 77 for Jay White and Hammerstone. Jay White with the Blade Runner in 2830. So, 73 for Abushi and Goto, as uh, Goto, of course, very tired towards the end. Not enough uh, time there given for an Abushi matchup. And an 80 for Tanahashi and Fujinami. So, yeah, Fujinami. Not even close to outperforming Roshi Tanahashi there. What an upset. Gets the one with the eight, or gets the one with, rather with a double under suplex, but gets an 80 in that performance. Does that match? And an 81 for AJ Styles and Juice Robinson. AJ does outperform him. But it was still a, a, a banger of a, uh, of a match, though. We'll take an 81 for sure. So AJ with an 83, 76 for Juice. AJ's getting better. He's getting better. Wow, we lost popularity. Well, shit. <laughs> that didn't go well. But yeah, let's put over AJ. Tanahashi for sure. Tanahashi's got to be super pissed. And then Abushi. My oh my. I would believe a show that had AJ Styles, Oroji Tanashi, and Kota Ibushi on the card still was not enough to gain popularity. Yeah, on to now we got blocks C and D left, and then we'll take a look at the standings and see how everything has shaped up so far. I'm extremely shocked that Tanashi doesn't have any morale issues after that show. Like, that, that's crazy. Shows you how, uh, as far as on the good gracious, graces he is with us, but uh, for day 23, as far as the main goes, man... Okada and Walter have been fucking awesome. God damn it. Can't believe we don't get to see that. But Miro and Shingo's a fun match. Pac and Takuya Nomura. Naito and Shibata would have been a main, but not the way Shibata's been performing. Daichi Morama's brought for us as court accused of being absorbed by his phone when he should have been paying attention to a locker room meeting as the judge Hiroshi Tanashi found him guilty and sentenced by a crate of beer for the locker room. So, go, so Toshi Goji and passing on microphone work to Tamora, and same thing here for Ishii and Harada. Man, I just... Sucks about Okada and Volter. Like, that match would have ruled so hard. Yeah, we'll go with Takuna Moore and Pac. And Pac's gonna beat him. Pac, Pac's gonna be the first time meeting here. Takuna Moore and uh, Pac are gonna go 25 minutes. Shouldn't be a banger. I just wanna double check something. Wow. Well, a lot of people still wanna put over Takuna Moore, which is... Yeah, we'll have, um... I thought Pac was wanting to put him over. Yeah, let's just, let's just have Takuna Moore beat him. Yeah, I think that's fun. Here we go, Miro Shingo next. Shingo's gonna beat him. It's a big win. 29 minute matchup there. Then Shibata and Naito. Naito's gonna beat him in 28 minutes. Brody Lee and Carl, and Carl Fredericks. Brody Lee's gonna win. They fought a couple of times so far. The G1 last year and the New Japan Cup earlier this year. So we'll need a Steal the Show match and a Tactical Masterclass match. So the Steal the Show match. We'll go Volter and Jarvis, I guess. Or uh, we'll go Volter and Gresham. Just uh, for the idea of that team. Just makes me laugh. Yeah, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll go Yano and... Or uh, we'll go Harada. Go Harada and... Um, Yeah, I guess it's either going to be Rocky or Yo. We'll go Rocky. I think everyone's probably going to assume Volter you know, is going to get this win over Harada. Tactical Masterclass match. I think we're going to have it be another United Empire versus a Chaos match. I think we're going to have Gavin McGavin take on Yo. Oh, they're both unimportant. That match is going to suck. Oh, well. Yo's going to beat him. It, this is mainly just to give Yo a win. Nothing too crazy there. How are we doing on... Okay, so just... Yeah, because Okada and Volter. Ah, uh, yeah, do we... Yeah, I guess we can run the Amino Value Hall. Or, uh, rather the Large Hall. Let's run it. 42 for the opener. Gavin McGavin outperformed him. Sucks because this is a decent little matchup. Just obviously they, they're not over enough. 
I got a 42 as a 77 for Volter and Jonathan Gresham against Demoya Arada and Rocky Romero. It's Volter with the win over Harada with the burning lariat. Yeah, Volter was off his game. Uh, Gresham on the 86, though. He was, he was tremendous. Got the crowd buzzing for that matchup. 76 for Brody Lee and Carl Fredericks. Brody bomb there for Brody. 21-42. 76 here for Naito and Ketsuo Shibata. It's the Destino for Naito in 28-28. Good job there from Naito. 75... Oh, rather, uh, 76, rather, for this matchup. But the 75 for Miro, 70 for Shingo. Banger, though. Made in Japan for Shingo in 28-53. I would love to see this match. In real life, in our main events in 88, thanks to Pac wanting to put over to Kuyu Nomura. Kuyu Nomura with a big win. Dragon Suplex in 24-43. Hell of a G1 win. Over Pac there, 84. We needed that. That was a, that was a great main. Great main to have to Kuyu Nomura. And I guess Naito? I guess he was the second best guy on this show. Not a bad Block C show. Now on to Block D. After this show, we'll take a look at the standings and see well, where everybody, as far as lines up here, after uh, six shows for each block. And then we'll, we'll have the, uh, basically, we'll, we'll all be down to 12 shows after that, so that would be... Crazy thing as far as the actual block tournament matches, then we'll have the semifinals and obviously the finals. Exciting things happening here. Exciting things popping off for sure. Alrighty, day 24. As uh, let's see what we get for this show. So Tyler Black, Eddie Kingston, fun match there. Danielson and Hobbs is probably the main. An Evil and Sonata matchup. That's fun. A little blast from the past. We haven't had that match in a hot minute. Don't think since the first uh, year of the save, to be honest. Where we're gonna run this show. Yeah, I guess Kanto would be a good option, but I think we're gonna run this uh, Sun Plaza. Man, yeah, Brian Danson, Will Hobbs, hell of a main event. Brian's gonna beat him. Could have won either way here, to be honest. From Hobbs's point of view, just size wise. And I think that'd be a fun win for him. But Evil and Sonata, Evil's gonna beat him. Uh, yeah, let's. So, let's say they had the Destruction in Hiroshima match. Which, Evil won. And was that it? Wow. Yeah, they had the time of a draw. During the G1. Might have Sonata win. Now I'm thinking about it. Yeah, let's just, um... Do a little switcheroo here. Sonata's gonna get the win in 20 minutes. Then Tyler Black and Eddie Kingston. Banger of a matchup. Eddie's gonna beat him in 24 minutes. Big win there. This was a Ring of Honor television title match at one point. Uh, Roger Strong and Tomori Ishii. Jirati's going to beat him in 10 minutes. Setting that for Steel the Show. Then Josh Alexander, Brody King. Josh is going to beat him in 22 minutes. Giving that a lot of time, to be honest. But hopefully it, it's a banger. Hopefully. That's all we're going to ask for. Uh, let's see. Let's go with the Young Bucks. We haven't used them in a... At least it was a, a week now. Have the Young Bucks versus uh, Yano and Harada. Ah, uh, maybe not, because that's to be a technical masterclass match. So maybe not that. Let's see here. See what we can use instead. Yeah, let's go Flight Club. Let's go uh, Hayato Jr. Fujita and Dante Martin. Really want to use Christian Casanova. Oh, if I got to turn off my goddamn notifications. Sorry. As, um... Let's see... Oh, we could use uh, Lee Moriarty. That'd be big, actually. Yes, yeah, use uh, Moriarty and Gresham. Banger. That has turned into a banger. So we'll have uh, Lee Moriarty beat Dante Martin. Future is bright. Future is bright for New Japan. That is for sure with it. Pairing that besides Seattle Jr. Vegeta, obviously, being the vet. I'm gonna run the show. 
the Flight Club and uh, the United Empire. The 78 for the opener. As, uh, yeah, Jonathan Gretchen did a really good job. So did Ayato Jr. for Jeet and Lee Moriarty. But he win there for Lee Moriarty over Dante Martin in 1540. 65 for Josh Alexander and Brody King. Brody King really off his game. Josh Alexander, 69. <laughs> nice. But the Pearl River plunge there for Josh Alexander in 2159. 76 for Roderick Strong and Tomohiro Ishii. As, uh, that is a hell of a win for Roderick Strong. Outperformed him. Did a really good job. Stronghold for Roddy there. Oh, that's, that's, uh, the banger. Yeah, for sure. Tyler Black and Eddie Kingston. They have great chemistry. How about that? Backdrop driver, though, for Eddie Kingston over Tyler Black in 24-11. That's a fun match, though. They have, uh, complete, uh, different styles. It's a nice little styles clash there. Got the crowd order. 280 for Evil and Sonata. A Sonata of the Rounding Body Press over Evil in 20 minutes. 1-1-1 one, one, one for the former... Tag team partners. A 99. Holy shit. For Brian Danielson and Will Hobbs. Brian Danielson with a cattle mutilation. I would love just the, the sight of that. Him hitting it, you know, locking in a cattle mutilation on Will Hobbs. That's a big fucking dude to be stretching out like that. But what a match. Obviously. I mean, that's, that's a, just a banger and a half. Shout out Brian Danielson. Shout out Will Hobbs. And uh, shout out Sonata. Some good stuff. Good stuff for that show. And uh, we'll see how long this loading screen takes. Because we're going to hope to just go right in to looking at the standings here. See where everybody's at. Now, now is when the, when the lock up. Alright, we'll just look at it when we load up the next show. Alrighty. As, uh, we'll take a look at the standings here. And we'll run the, these backstage incidents while we're here. Jesus, Nagamora. Right in the move backstage after doing several funny cartoon drawings with some of his colleagues. Kojima and Tamora passing on, I'm assuming, you know, microphone work. Same thing here from Milano Collection 18 and Yazu Takayano. But yes, let's, uh... Let's see here. Turn it yes. So, Block A. So far, tied in first place. Shinsuke Nakamura and Zack Sabre Jr. with 10. Followed up by Joe Doring and Dayout Tamora with 8 points. Of course, Joe Doring has that win... Over the uh, IWGP Heavyweight Champion, which, uh, speaking of him, Shatoru Shino, he is in third with seven points. Still a lot can happen, obviously. Still a lot, a lot of shows left. But at least everyone's gotten a win in this block. Calvin Takeman with two points is very interesting because he's been phenomenal. Hiromu with five. Tough break there. Kenta with four is a tough break as well. That just kind of shows you how deep this block is. Unfortunately there, but for block B... The Great Okan and Hiroshi Tanahashi are leading the block with 10 points. Juice and Kodobushi with 8, and AJ Styles. Jay White with 6. No draws, of course, so everybody's got an even number. And, uh, yeah, Shelton Benjamin with 0 points. Tough break. He's got Hammerstone, AJ, and Goto left, so potentially could get a win. Could steal one. Fujinami with four, and his wins over Tanahashi and Shelton Benjamin. Goto with two. He beat Fujinami. Interesting, Block B. As Block C. Of course, what could have been if Okada didn't get hurt after the first goddamn show? But uh, Shingo Takagi and Takuya Nomura with 12 points. Unreal to think that Takuya Nomura has, because of the uh, win, you know, they both have that... Uh, you know, they haven't officially two years anymore. He still hasn't lost yet, but obviously he's got the free win because Okada had a withdrawal from the tournament. But that's interesting. That's that's super interesting. As far as Shingo goes, he will have just uh, two more matches left. Same thing with Takuya Nomura. Or Takuya Nomura has three. Everybody has basically got three but Shingo. So him with 12 is a very interesting spot. So many people with eight, though, with Miro, Pac, Naito, and Volter. I mean, that's that's been a, an interesting block. I think a lot of people probably would have thought either Pac would win or even Miro or obviously Okada would have been a, a, a nice odds on favor. Brody Lee with two points is insane. Like he at best could finish with eight. Like that's crazy. Absolutely crazy. And then block D, Sonata with ten, Brian Danielson with nine, Eddie Kingston and Will Hobbs with eight, Tyler Black with six, Josh Alexander with five. Roddy, Evil, and Brody King with four. So Sonata, because of that win, 
helped elevate him over the top. That would have been Brian Danielson's block, but because Sonata beats Evil, he is in the lead. A lot could still happen, though, obviously. Still a very close race there for Block D, but that's where everybody's at. With, uh, as far as with 12 shows left. For this show, though, Kenta Nishino. What a banger. That will be. That's the going to be the main event matchup. So these two. So Kenta and Nishino, they first met during the first G1. Then Nishino beat them during the New Japan Cup. Then they had the time of the draw. Then Nishino beat them again. That was uh, last year in the G1. And I think we're going to have Kenta beat him here. I think that's the right choice. Right before the 30-minute mark, Kenta getting the win. Yeah, then Doring and Zack Sabre Jr. Zack's going to beat him, 28 minutes. It's a fun little match. Hiromu and Tankman. Tankman's going to beat him. Going to set this for steal the show. Uh, obviously playing up to the strength and, and size advantage here. So Roma's beating him every single time until now. So big win for Tankman. Massive. Hail Tamori and Katsuya Kitamura. Oh, another Steel Show matchup. We don't need that. As uh, yeah, we'll give him a little bit more time. But Hail Tamori is going to beat Katsuya Kitamura. It's going to go 16. Then uh, Shinsuke and Takeda. He's given that. Uh, we're definitely going to bump this up. But uh, Nakamura is going to beat Takeda in 23 minutes. That should be a banger. Definitely should be really, really good. Nice. Let's see what we get for our opener. Now, ah, do we use Tenkoji again? I just don't think that's really the play. Yes, the Golden Dragons. Yeah, we'll use uh, Golden Dragons against uh, Christian Casanova and Darius Lockhart. Maybe Yehi. Yeah, go Yehi and Lockhart. Not, not Eddie Kingston. <laughs> that, that is quite strange. Uh, we'll have Samurai Del Sol get a win. We'll have that be over Lockhart, of course. Alrighty, so we just gotta pick a venue. I don't know if I need to charge this mouse now, because now it's starting to really slow down. It is not working so well, so I I think we're... We could go back to Kanto, but I don't think we're going to run there just yet. I think we're going to go back to the uh, Akita Perfectional Gym for this show. And we're running. 60 for the opener. Has yeah, Simmer Del Sol and since they are beating Lockhart and Ye High. Yeah, it was really off his game, so he could have been the best guy in the match. With the Rising Sun for Lockhart over... Or for Simmer Del Sol over Lockhart, rather. Should have gave that a little bit more time. Didn't really think about it like that. Because, yeah, now they have Tamari. He's definitely recognized as an important member of the rosters. Tamari with the face lock in 16 minutes. 76 for Hiromu and Tankman. It's a banger. What an upset, though, for Calvin Tankman. With the Tankman driver of Hiromu. Squashes the bug. That is Hiromu to, uh, Takahashi there. 82 for Nakamura and Takeda. Cross arm lock for Nakamura. 22-44. Zack Sabre Jr. with the submission win. Alright, again, with the pinfall win. Every time I think it's going to be submission. Ends up being that European clutch over Joe Doring. 27-48, big win for Zack Sabre Jr. And an 89 for Kenta Nishino. Kenta with a go to sleep again. Lack of psychology. Hurting this one a little bit, but still gets an 88. Still increased our popularity, so... Can't hate it too much, but uh, we'll give some love to Ashino, Kenta, and then Zack Sabre Jr. Great shit. Great shit. On to day 26 we go. Oh, no, it's not day 26. I think it's day 20... Day 28. Yeah, or day 27. That's right. <laughs> Jesus, I'm all... I'm discombobulated. Alrighty, day 26. As uh, this was in Osaka Joe Hall last year. Zack Sabre Jr. and Shinsuke Nakamura and Danielson and Tanahashi. What a main and go main. 
That is quite a banger. Jonathan Gresham, Rock for Rest's Court, accused of making a mess backstage and not cleaning it up. Annoying, annoying everyone else as a judge. First, she's not actually found him guilty and sends to clean up them by drinks right after the show. So, AJ and Jay White, that's obviously the main, the history there. That just makes sense. As AJ's gonna beat him. I think that's the right choice. Bullet Club leader, Bullet Club leader. And he beats the Never Boy Champion as AJ Styles. But this is a hell of a co main, though. Uh, the Great Okana and Roshi Tanashi. Tanashi gets it. A, uh, a win back after losing to Fujinami there. That's a, that's a pretty good match, though. And then Ibushi and Fujinami. Imagine if Fujinami beats him here as now. He's, he's going to lose to Koto Ibushi, but... That was that was fun. That was a fun idea. And then Hammerstone and Benjamin. Alexander Hammerstone getting the win in 20 minutes. Bump that up a little bit. And then Goto and Juice, obviously, a steal the show matchup as Juice going to get the win in 10 minutes. Which Goto's not too happy about. Because he's, you know, the worst. Can't work a 10-minute matchup. But Hanare. We'll have Hanare beat... And beat Harada. Get about 16. Hanare getting the win. Big night for Injustice. Yeah, I really don't want to run Budokan this night either. So we'll go to Chubu. To the uh, Nagoya Civic Journal Gymnasium. For day 26. 62 for the opener. Spinning Spine Buster for Anari in 1558. Another 62 is Juice and Goto. They don't click. I, f I remember that. I forgot that they didn't have any good chemistry. Uh, but Juice with the Paul Friction in 1028. So I remember when I made that match, that popped up. But Hammerstone and Shelton Benjamin, pretty close. Hammerstone with a Stonebreaker in 2012. So that was a 63. Hammerstone with a 58. Shelton Benjamin with a 52. Decent little matchup. 60. Uh, or rather, a 79, rather, for Kotobuchi and Leono Fujinami. As Kotobuchi with the Kamigori in 2230, a, 30, or a 91 for Kotobuchi. 59 for Fujinami. It's a good win. Good win for Kotobuchi. And then Tanashi and the Great Okan. Fun little match here. Tanashi with Eye Fly Flow in 2557. Yeah, it's a banger. Great wrestling. Got some good heat in there. And then 75 for the main event. AJ Styles and Jay White. A super Styles class. Jesus Christ. What a finish. Too bad that's going to hurt the popularity of the show. Yep. We just can't have anything. But yeah, Tanashi and Ibushi again. And we'll go AJ. Yeah, it just bums me out. Bums me out. That, 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 that For some reason, that block just keeps on falling short of expectations. But on to the next show. We go. Alrighty, day 27 is again with the New Japan World. And with some backstage incidents, as passing on microphone work is Satoshi Kojima to Hayato Tomorrow. Let's see what Dan says. Yeah, psychology. To Dan Garcia. You sit under the learning tree, Dan Garcia. You just learn away. But Shingo and Okada would have been on this night. That would have been fun. Main event is an interesting one because these are Naito and Brody or yeah, I, I think that it's got to be that, to be honest. Because I don't think Shibata and Pac... I mean, Pac will carry it, but I don't think it's going to be good enough to be the main. Brody, going to beat Tetsuya Naito, though. Uh, they had a... Yeah, they had the first blood match of the U.S. title match. Had the finals for the New Japan Cup. Yeah, they're 2-2 two and two against each other in the save. That should go really well, though. Naito a little unhappy about that, though. Yeah, then Pac and Shibata. Shibata's going to beat Pac. Poor Pac. He's on losing. I think Kunamura and Valter. Kunamura is going to... Yeah, I think we're going to have Valter win. Yeah, this is this is Valter's time to shine. He needs this. He needs to come in like a fucking wrecking ball. And fuck shit. Uh, Carl Fredericks and Miro. Setting them to steal the show. Miro going to beat Carl Fredericks in 12 minutes. Then we'll have, as far as the... Yeah, I think Shingo and Bushi... Against Yo and Harada. Yeah. It's not going to be great, but it's going to get the job done. Shingo's going to beat Harada. And then we'll have a Young Lion matchup in the opener. See what we get. Then you got Jason Lee. 
Malachi Black, Ryu Lee wouldn't be a bad option. House Coughlin? Yeah, we'll go Coughlin. Yeah, Coughlin over Owiwasa. Owiwasa seems to be the best one. Yeah, he's still only a year in. It's crazy. He is going to be quite solid. How are we doing? Okay, we're good on, on that. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, again, I don't think this is a Kanto Knight again. I think we're going to the convention center. We're really saving that off <laughs> for something special. 56 of the opener, Alex Coughlin beating Oiwa, which Oiwa was a 48. That is not bad at all. Submission win for Alex Coughlin, 931. 69 for Ibushi and Shingo against Yo and Harada. Shingo was the last of the dragon over Harada. Harada, obviously. Out of his element there. 72 for Fredericks and Miro. Miro with the game over in 11.52. Got the crowd buzzing there. Falter beating Takuya Nomura, the Burning Lariat. Great guy won. It's a good decision, for sure. Falter's the man. And 80 for Pac and Shibata. Shibata with the cross armbar in 24.23. Big one for Shibata over Pac. And our main event's in 82. Tetsuya Naito should have won, but that's okay. Brody with a Brody bomb in 24.47. Brody needs some wins. Surprised that was enough, to be honest. As, uh, yeah, we'll put over Naito, put over Pac, and, uh, yeah, we'll put over Brody. Why not? Now, on to day 20. Alright, day 28. <laughs> you know, is excited for this show as well. As, uh, let's see, Jushin Zender Liger, she's... Right in the backstage area. Simply about being so fun and cheerful to be around. So we got Sadan and Tyler Black. That's a hell of a match. That is a match that I would love to see. Because I think stylistically they match up super well. Brody King and Brian Danielson. It's a fun little match. Kingston and Josh Alexander. Hobbs and Ishii. Yeah, it's about, it's some good stuff on the show. For sure. I don't think it's going to be a uh, Korokan show. Or not a Korokan. A Nepom Budokan show though. Again, we are saving that for something a little more special. We run, we will run Osaka Joe Hall, though, because we are close to selling that out. We'll go ahead and run there. I mean, I really want to have Sonata and Tyler Black made event. Let's see. Let's see what we get. 26 minutes. So Tyler Black's going to get the win. We're going to see uh, Malachi Black interfere. Bushi's going to interfere. Turns into a bit of a shit show, but... As far as we got some mist going on, and Tyler Black, God's last gift after the mist. He has an artist. Going to be a little unhappy about this one. We'll keep him strong. Noise. Noise, noise, noise. As, uh, then probably Kingston and Josh Alexander. Josh Alexander's going to beat Eddie Kingston, so they've had a match before. He has strong taping. Two years ago, which was a 35 when that happened. It is going to be much better now. Josh is going to get the win. Then Brian and Brody. Brian's going to get the win in 20. Yeah, then Roddy and Evil. Let's set for Steel Show. Evil's going to be Roger Strong. It's a nice win. And Hobbs and Ishii. Yep, yeah, that should not be a Steel Show match. Um, but we'll keep that one as the Steel Show match, I guess. And we'll bump this up a little bit more. We don't need two of them. Don't need two of them. Slow build. Bump this up to about, say, uh, yeah, we'll go 20. Yeah, we'll go, um, let's go Young Bucks versus uh, Reynolds and Silver. That'd be a fun little match. Obviously, it's a bit out of um, their elements, but obviously, the Young Bucks are going to get the win. But just because we're doing Rushmore and Dark Order, just felt like this would be a fun little match to run. Hell yeah. Let's run it. 73 for the opener. As uh, the Young Bucks do a very good job here. Probably going to give that a little bit more time. That's alright. Just Sylvan rounds. I mean, at least they performed okay. In 59, 56. That could have been a lot worse. Meltzer driver though from Matt Jackson over Alex Reynolds. 68 for Ishii and Haas. Which they have a pretty good chemistry with each other. Which is pretty fantastic. Because <laughs> that would be a... Oh, and Theodore, I think so, as well. As uh, that is quite a banger. I have a matchup 
on paper, at least. Roger Strong loses to Evil, unfortunately, because he did outperform him as the Banshee muzzle for Evil over Roddy. Roddy Strong there in 2030. It's a good little match, for sure. We'll, we'll take a 74. An 80 for Brian Danielson and Birdie King. The Bell Lock for Brian Danielson in 1949. 82 for Josh Alexander and Eddie Kingston as uh, Josh Alexander gets completely outperformed. Gets along with a pearl over plunge, though. We're still trying with Josh Alexander. We're not giving up on him. Now, 78 for Sonata and Tyler Black. Tyler Black gets the win with the curb stomp after the shenanigans ensue in this main event. Good wrestling, decent reaction from the crowd. Uh, yeah, that hurts our popularity there. Unfortunate, we could not get it over the hump. Very shocked to see that Josh Ruggs and Eddie Kingston did better than Tyler Black and Sonata, to be honest. But that just shows you how great Eddie Kingston is, honestly. Then we'll go with Brian, and we'll go with Sonata, because he put over Tyler Black. I mean, at least he, he tried to put up a fight by uh, needing to be kept strong, but he kind of went without a fuss, at least. But yeah, now we just have uh, eight more shows left, at least for the block tournaments matchups. Uh, so that's nice. Yeah, we are at the home stretch now for sure. We'll see how this all plays out. Alrighty, day 29. This is a big night for both Saxaber Jr. and Shinsuke Nakamura. They're both tied, of course, for first place in their block. And they got some big matches. You know, Kenta for Nakamura and then uh, Shitoru Shino for Saxaber Jr. This is, you know, for really all the marbles here. But Tanashi brought in some pizza for the locker room. <laughs> Way to go, Ace. Go, Ace, go. Yeah, this is definitely going to be. This is what we were waiting on. We're waiting on a, a nice show for Budokan. It's not going to sell it out, unfortunately. But that'll be pretty goddamn close. I mean, what should be the main? That, that is the million dollar question here. Is, Ashino's going to beat Zack. So there's that. And then Kenta Nakamura. Which Kenta beats Nakamura. So they both are going to stick with 12. So this now opens up the gates for Hayato Tamura to come in. And potentially tie, tie it up here. So he's got Joe Doring. And he does. We got a three-way tie for first. With Heya Tamora beating Joe Doring there. That's going to be a final... F that's going to be a crazy final show for Block A then. Katsuya Kitamura, Hiromu Takahashi. So Hiromu's going to beat him in 18 minutes. And then Takeda and Tankman are going to be set for Steelers. Not going to be the greatest of matches, but Tankman's going to get the win there. Yeah, I mean, that's... That's huge. That is huge. Let's, uh... Let's go show and Dan Garcia. Really haven't used them at all as a team uh, during this tour. Yeah, we'll go Rocky and Yo. As I will have a show beat Rocky. I mean, it should be a pretty good show, though. Should be pretty, pretty solid. Let's run it. 66 of the opener. It's Rocky and Yo, of course, having that excellent chemistry. But Garcia and uh, Show are the better team. As a showstopper for Rocky Romero. Or for on Rocky Romero, rather, by, by Show. As he was the worst guy in the match, though. Unfortunately for him. But 78 for Tankman and Masashi Takeda. Tankman driver and 943. It's a good match. Good win for uh, Calvin Tankman, for sure. 82 for Katsuki and Aromu. Aromu with a time bomb in 1738. It's a good little match there, again, too short for maybe the importance of this matchup. Should have gave it maybe a little bit more time, but still a good little match. Got the crowd hotter. 84 for Tamora and Joe Doring. Heyado Tamora outperformed him, so it was the right decision. The Tamora, uh, is uh, Heyado with the Heyado driver in 23-34. Banger of a matchup, though, between those two men. Co-main event, 96. Jesus Christ, Kenta was going to sleep in 2901. And our main event's at 85. They have great chemistry, but somehow... With Shatoru Shino and Zack Sabre Jr., there's no psychology in this matchup. That could have been one of the best matches we've ever done. And instead, it's an 85. It's a reverse cross armbar from Shatoru Shino over Zack Sabre Jr. Tough break there from Zack Sabre Jr., but that's a hell of a show. Just unfortunate that we had such a great main and co-main. That it just, you know, we got fucked over by TW, but that's the, uh, that's the way she goes, unfortunately. More times than not. I mean, that block A, I mean, that's just a hell of a block. That's going to be a hell of a final show for them. Three guys tied for first. We'll have to look at the tiebreakers and stuff and see how that all plays out going into that night. 
uh, once we get there, and there in about three more shows, it's on to Block B's show. All right, day 30. I cannot believe that we have booked 30 shows of this G1. That is just wild to think about. As backstage incidents, a lot of them, Jesus Christ, Sheldon Benjamin was brought for Russell's court. He was failing to pick up his share of the tab at the bar. As the judge sure she thought she found him guilty and sent to buy drinks after the show. Small positive impact for Shelton Benjamin. As Satoshi Kojima passing on microphone tips to uh, Eero Tamora. And probably the same thing. Oh, no, psychology again for Brian Danson on Daniel Garcia. That is perfect. What a match I see here with Ibushi and Tanahashi. But there's another match that is super fun that I see as well. But Tanahashi is going to beat Ibushi. So that's a great win for Tanahashi there. Then Shelton Benjamin and AJ Styles. Now, about 15 years ago, this was the dream match if you were putting together a WWE versus TNA, like, dream card. Like, this is this is the match. <laughs> like, this, this match would have been incredible. And uh, it would have definitely blew the minds of, like, the internet fans at, at that time. And it sucks that, like, we never got to see this where they were both, like, physically, I think, at their prime. It's crazy because both of them now, they're still, like incredible athletes and still can but especially then in the mid 2000s like they were they would have had like crazy ass matches like that would have been what the x division was all about to be honest like that's crazy insane like shelton benjamin aj styles and, and shelton's gonna beat him it's gonna be his first win in the tournament like this, this is just a crazy ass match aj rightfully so is a little upset but i just shelton needs a win felt like that was the time to do it Hammer's throwing the great Okan's a fun little match, because Okan's really coming together well. He's going to beat Alexander Hammerstone there. Then Jay White and Goto. Jay White's going to get the win, steal the show matchup. God damn it, Goto. You're killing me. Yeah, this could probably be a little higher. Juice and Fujinami. It's Fujinami's going to beat Juice. My God. Fujinami just racking up some big wins here in the second part of the fucking tournament. My goodness. We'll keep Juice strong. Jesus Christ. I mean, Fujinami's beating both Tanahashi and Juice. That's nuts. I am curious. I completely forgot how the blocks are looking. Uh, so Tanahashi's going to jump up to 14. So really, I mean, yeah, this is tough. <laughs> this is this is tough because, like, he should probably lose to make this a little bit more exciting. Yeah. Or at least a draw. We'll do that. We'll go with a draw. Yeah. Make this a little bit more interesting. And let me draw. So one point each now. So that will now mean... Just kind of looking ahead here for block B. So Tanahashi's going to have 13, and, and uh, Abushi's going to have 11. So this will now come down to, depending on what happens, if Tanahashi loses the Juice, and Abushi beats the Great Okan, then... Uh, we'll have to have a tiebreaker match to determine who's going to take on the winner of Block A. So someone's got might have to work, wrestle twice there for Block B. So that's going to be interesting. Well, probably not. We'll probably have that be on like um, on like day like uh, I don't know, thirty-five or thirty-four, you know, somewhere around there. Instead, if we need to, you know, if we if we need to, let's go with the astronauts. No, maybe not. Let's go blast off. Yeah, we'll go uh, Jason Lee and Shun Skywalker. We'll have them take on... Yeah, let's go top flight. I don't know, we should... We need it to be a technical match, class match. We don't need it to be anything crazy. We'll go with uh, Ye High and... Yeah, let's uh, let's actually go Fred Ye High. Or, uh... Yeah, let's go Ye High and, and Casanova against the Bucks. Bucks just keep on getting work here since they uh, since AJ and Shelton are having a match. Will that Matt get a win? There we go. Nice match. See where we're gonna run this show. Yeah, we definitely will not be running Budokan again. That's crazy. We only had fourteen thousand show up. Yeah, the old Perfectural Sports Center. There. Let's run the show. So 70 for the opener. Yeah, I did really well. Uh, he almost was in the same breath as uh, Matt Jackson. Just a little far behind. Christian Gastonova still got a, a ways to go, unfortunately. But decent long matchup for an opener. 
that got a 70. Jay White beating Hiroki Goto with the Blade Runner in 941. That got a 67. 72 for Juice and Leono Fujinami. What a win for Fujinami, though, that double under suplex in 2136. And then, of course, the Great Okan with the Cobra Clutch over Hammerstone in 1931. AJ losing to Shell Benjamin. That's the pay dirt for Shell Benjamin in 2741. What an upset there. And our main event, time limit draw 30 minutes is the cap. They need more than 30 between these two. As Tanahashi and Ibushi, one point each. Banger of a matchup, though, at 98. We needed that. We were, you know, we needed that. For sure. That was a hell of a match. Hell of a win. Or a hell of a, just a hell of a match. Just, uh, but a hell of a win for Shelton Benjamin, though, over AJ Styles. That was crazy, even though it completely sacrificed the match rating to do that. It was still, that was a banger. It was a banger of an idea. And now, on to the next night we go. On to night 31. Alrighty, episode 31. And so, let's see, we got New Japan World, Backstage Instance, it's Yuji the God of Passing on Psychology of the Great Okan, and Ishii's Passing on Microphone Work to Tomoya Harada. Yeah, I mean, at least we're not missing out a whole lot with that Carl Fredericks match uh, against Okada, but Volter and Pac is fantastic, and I want that to be the main. Pac's gonna beat him. I think that's the right decision, to be honest. I think Pac could use a win there. Shingo and Takuya Nomura. Another banger. Shingo's gonna beat him. It's a big win for Shingo. And Miro and Naito. As uh, Miro's gonna beat Tetsuya Naito. That's a big win for Miro. As I want to say that's a first time meeting between Miro and Naito. Yep. As far as singles wise. Shingo and Takuya Nomura, I want to say they've had a match. Oh no. Another first time meeting. Singles wise. That's fine. Alright. So then Brody and uh, Shibata here. So we're setting this for Seal the Show. Brody's going to beat Shibata. Oh, yeah, we get him. Bobbing down to 10. So then we'll have... We'll have it be a six-man. We'll have Fredericks team with... Coughlin Connors. Yeah, we'll go... <laughs> we'll go Yano and Rocky and Yo. What a shit show. So, uh, Fredericks beat Yano. Yeah, then we'll have a, a Young Lion match to kick off the show. We won't use Oiwa this time. We'll have it be a tag. Uh, we'll have... Yeah, we'll do uh, Reynolds and Silver. They, they could use a, a match as far as... We'll go with... Um, Yasu Takayano and Yuto Nakashima. Well, if Reynolds get the win. Good stuff. Good stuff there. Ten minute matchup. Oh, yeah, we're good to go. We just need to change the venue. Yeah, it looks like to the large hall we go. It's like that our the business and kind of everything involved is kind of falling in Japan a little bit. But this is a good little opener for Silver and Reynolds. They beat uh, Nakashima and Yano. Thirty sixes for both the young lions there. Sixty four for Coffin Connors and Fredericks against Yano, Yo, and Rocky. As uh, Fredericks with the elevated Boston Crab over Toriano. It's a good little match. Again, Coughlin and Connors are just killing it. Brody Lee, though, with a running big boot over Shibata in 10 minutes. It's a big win for Brody. And Shingo and Nakuya Nomura as Shingo with a Made in Japan in 25-38. As, uh, wow, what a match here for, uh, between Miro and Tetsuya Naito. The Volplex for Miro in 28-27. And our main event, they don't click, god damn it, as uh, the 6-30 for Pac over Volter. Uh, we didn't take a look at the standings to see where everybody's at going into that uh, as far as going into the final night now, but that's okay. We'll just take a look when we run it back. But that was a banger. That was a banger for sure. As far as that could have been way better had obviously they didn't, they had some, you know, either no chemistry boost or a positive chemistry boost. But yeah, that was, that was really, really impressive. So now on to, uh, as far as we're, we're coming on, on to the home stretch now. On the block D. And then we're at the final shows for each of the blocks. 
pretty block D here as we will look and see what we got. As far as Brian Anderson and Eddie Kingston, that's probably the main. And Roddy and Hobbs is probably the co-main. That is pretty good as Milan Collection 18 passing on psychology tips to Yazu Takayano. Let's see what we get as far as Brian Danielson and Eddie Kingston. This is a big time matchup, and Eddie's going to beat him. So, this is very interesting because for Block D, uh, Brian was in the lead with 11 because of the draw, but now it's going to jump that up to as far as Kingston's going to jump up to 10, and this is going to give a great opportunity for either Hobbs or uh, let's, uh, let's go back to uh, in either Hobbs or Sonata to jump up to that first place spot. Well, that's a huge win for Eddie Kingston, first of all. That's a future title match, but also, shout out Brian Danson for putting him over. So, yeah, Roddy and Hobbs. So, Hobbs is going to beat him. So, Hobbs is going to jump up to 12 with that win over Roddy. And we'll see what Sonata does against Josh. He also is going to jump up to 12. So, now we're going to go into the tiebreakers, potentially. And just kind of look and see. Because Hobbs, he has uh, Brody King left. And right now, he is at 10. Or he'll be at 12 after this show in Sonata. Still has Brian Danielson left. So that is going to be a big time match for him. As far as where he's going to place. So really it comes down to the Brian Danielson Sonata match. Because if Hobbs. I mean if Hobbs wins though. Then he's going on to the finals. But if Brody beats him. And then it comes down to the Brian Sonata matchup. That's that's intriguing. That is Quite the way to go about it. Brody King's going to beat Tomer Ishii. So there's some momentum going into the match with Will Hobbs. And then Evil and Tyler Black. Tyler Black's going to beat him in 21 minutes. And we will have in the opener Malachi Black versus Black Taurus. Because I love that match. Absolutely love it. Good shit. So, uh, Mal Malachi Black versus Tommy Hinton. <laughs> Malachi Black's going to get the win there. Justin King giving a little too much. Interesting. Let that be Red Shoes. There we go. And, uh, yeah, now we just got to figure out where we're going to run next. Yeah, I guess the Hiroshima Sun Plaza works for me. And we'll run the show. 60 for the opener. Black Taurus and Malachi Black. Malachi Black gets up a form. Black Taurus, uh, he was a bit off his game. Malachi Black with the end of the line in 16 minutes. 65 for Brody King and Tomori Ishii. As Brody King with a gonzo bomb. Brody did get outperformed. As far as 59 to 57. But a decent little matchup. 77 for Tyler Black and Evil. Tyler Black's really done a great job. I think this was a great time for him to debut. Because I think this was really showcasing his strengths. What he can do bell to bell. And this, I mean, this is all about what he can do bell to bell in this G1. And I'm happy that his performance is really rose throughout just even from the beginning of the tournament to the end now he's probably jumped at like 20 points of performance points like that's crazy absolutely crazy as uh josh alexander and sonata as the rounding body press for sonata and it's 27 51 great win for sonata outperformed josh alexander right decision there oh about i thought roddy had an 89 for a second uh, but i was like oh my god but will hops with a power slam over Roderick Strong. Great match here. Yeah, just a, a good little matchup. And, and going into the main, it's an 88. Eddie Kingston beating Brian down. Some of the back of the future. Love the match. Love the finish. You love to see... Wow, that's crazy. That an 85 is not going to gain off pop anywhere. That's that's rough. That is rough. So Obviously, we're going to give love to Brian. Uh, we're going to give love to Sonata. And then to Kingston. Yeah, now we just have the final shows left for each block. 33 through 36. Can't believe it. We'll see how it all plays out now. That's so, so exciting to see how this all comes together here. I think this has been quite the tournament. I, I think we've done a, a good job as far as I think this tournament compared to last year's. I think last year's, you know, if it wasn't for Okada's injury, like Block C would be doing just as well as all the other blocks. But they're just kind of unfortunate that Okada got hurt. Because every other block, I feel like, has really had their strengths and weaknesses, for sure. Block D with Brian has been fantastic. Block A, of course, has been the best block of the tournament. and There's been some great stuff. Paul London hanging up the boots. Um, I saw El Desperado retired as well. Like There's been a lot of people that have been retiring now. That's kind of 
wild to see. How about that? <laughs> Y'all get to see who's coming in. As, uh, yeah, we are, uh, I think it's time to, to bring him back. Oh, we got a user talent point. Yeah, our negotiating is maxed out now. I guess, uh, diplomacy? I guess, I, I don't know. But yeah, on to day 33 we go. All right, let's see how this ends up. Of course, Hayato Tamora, Shinsuke Nakamura, and Zack Sabre Jr. all tied in the lead. And wouldn't you know it, Shinsuke Nakamura and Zack Sabre Jr. end out this uh, block with a main event matchup. Tanahashi wanting to put over to Kuyu Nomura. Get in line. Everybody wants to put that man over. But yeah, uh, so we'll add the uh, Shino Hayato Tamora match first, just for the. And Shino's going to beat him. So. There is that. So potentially, the door is left open. And it's a draw. So we're going to have a tiebreaker match between these two men. It won't be until... We're going to give them a couple days break. Probably Block C will probably be uh, when we run this. The, the final show for Block C. The rematch. To see who's going to take on the winner of Block B. So that is exciting. So we're going to have... We already have a draw. And a tie... At the top of the block for block A. Tankman and Kenta. Tankman's going to be Kenta. This has been some big wins for Calvin Tankman. He's beaten both Hiromu and Kenta. He's just used that size to his advantage. Getting a lot of big time wins. And then Doring and Kitamura. Doring's going to beat him. And then Hiromu and Masashi Takeda. Which would be a Steelers show matchup as Hiromu's going to beat Takeda. But yeah, that, that's going to be super interesting. 13 points for Nakamura and Saxaby Jr. 12 points for Tamora, 10 points for Doring. 11 points for Ashino, and Kenta's going to stay with 8, and Tengen's going to jump up to 8. Hiromu's going to jump up to 9. I think that's a, that was a really fun block, though. That was, that was a fun block to book. As so we'll go with... I'm trying to think. Yeah, we'll go with a, a junior singles matchup. We'll go Bushi against... Uh, either Drew Parker or Ishimori. I think we're going to go with Drew Parker. Yeah, Drew Parker beat him during the Best of Juniors last year. Let Bushi get the win this year. Or, not, not this year, during the Best of Juniors, but just this year. In the calendar year of 2023. Good stuff there. Alrighty. Pick the venue. I mean, I would kind of love that to be in Budokan, to be honest, because that would be a pretty banger of a matchup. But I think we're going to... Go back to Chubu, to the Civic Journal and Gymnasium. So 64 for the opener. Bushi with a Firebird Splash and 15-30-7. Decent little matchup there to kick off the show. 78 for Hiromu and Masashi Takeda. Not enough time there, but, you know, sometimes it'd be a steal the show match. Time Bomb win for Hiromu at 944. Joe Doring and Katsuya Kitamura. Doring with a Revolution Bomb in 25 minutes. It's a nice win for Joe Doring. 88 for Kent and Calvin Tankman. Look at Calvin Tankman go at 82. Fantastic. Tankman driver in 27-36. Got the crowd hotter. Great stuff there. Shino and Hayato Tamora. Shino gets the one with ankle hold in 29-25. And this goes the distance. Needs more than 30. As Shinsuke and Zack Sabre Jr. hit the time limit draw. Unreal. Unreal. So we'll find out what happens between those two men. In a couple of shows. And, uh, yeah, then Kenta. Really love that block, though. Just That block just flowed together really well. Was super happy with it. Probably my favorite block of the tournament so far. Now on to the final show for Block B. Alrighty, Block B. As, uh, let's see, we got AJ and Hammerstone. Okan and Ibushi's probably the main. Let's go GM passing on microphone work to Yada Tamara. And Brian Anderson again passing on psychology to Daniel Garcia. But yeah, Bushi and the Great Okan. Banger of a matchup. And Okan's going to beat him. So that's massive. So uh, for Block B, as far as Okan, he's now got the lead. It depends on what happens with Tanahashi here. So that's massive. Imagine Okan wins. <laughs> he's going on to Block B. Like, that's crazy. What a poor break for uh, Kota Bushi there. That is a tough break there. Yeah, Tanashi and Juice. Tanashi beats Juice. So Tanashi is going to, to the as far as the semifinals. He'll take on the winner of Zack Sabre Jr. and Shinsuke Nakamura. So that will be the road agent there. 
Yeah, I mean, that could be the main, though, too, in a way. Yeah, we'll, we'll keep it. Yeah, we'll, we'll have it be the main. I think that'd be, a, be fun to be like, oh, shit, you know, what's gonna happen? It's, it's the Great Okan going to the finals. But now, Jay White's gonna beat Fujinami there to see the show. Match up AJ and Hammerstone. AJ's gonna beat him. And then this Shelton Benjamin... Hiroki Oto match is gonna be the goddamn worst. We're gonna give him 18, and Goto's gonna beat Shelton Benjamin. I don't know how I feel about that. It is what it is. It is what it is. So we're gonna go with, um... Yeah, I think, uh, yeah we'll go with six-man junior tag. It's the opener. Uh, we'll go... Jason Lee. Abe. Skywalker. Against... Uh, yeah, we'll go Moriarty. Gresham. And Makabe. Hell of a match. Hell of a match. And uh, we'll have Abe. He's going to beat uh, Gresham. So it's going to lead to a junior tag team title matchup. At the either semifinal or the finals of the G1. God damn. Gresham is not happy about that. Loss. But, I mean, he's got to lose. <laughs> Someone's got to lose. It's either him or Makabe. All right. At least we talked them into it. Yeah, it's been a hot minute. I guess the uh, key to perfectual gym. For day 34, 64 for the opener. Makabe, Gresham, and Moriarty doing pretty well. Jason Lee, though, with a uh, intervertebral, vertebral, oh my god. As uh, the intervertebral sprain. I guess it is intervertebral. Yeah, oh my god. I'm just I'm just gonna keep going. <laughs> just the fucking just the worst. And Abe pinning Johnson Gresham as a shining wizard. Fifty three for Godo and Shell Benjamin. Just the worst. GTR from Godo. Definitely his last G one. Jay White and Leona Fujinami, they don't click. Uh, but Jay White gets the win with the Blade Runner in ten minutes. 80 here for AJ and Hammerstone as AJ Styles with a springboard 450. Another 80 as Okan beating Kota Bushi with the big glare. And as our main event, Tanashi beats Juice with the high fly flow. Glad this was the main event as we needed this win. Or that needed that match rating for sure. But it's a good match. It's a good match for sure. No popularity gain again. But yeah, Tana. Let's go Bushi. And uh, yeah, we'll go Gresham. In case he's still upset. Well, we got at least one winner that we know of going to the semifinals in Tanahashi. Now on to Block C, the final show for Block C, and see how that plays out. Alrighty, day 35. And so the main event, probably Shingo and Volter. Probably there. Sucks we don't get the Okada Naito match. That's just the, the way it is. Zichi passing on tips on microphone work to Tomoya Rada. Oh, yeah, I forgot the 18. Rating that with Yano and Brody Lee. Oof. Oof, oof, oof. But, uh, yeah, for this tournament, so it's interesting enough, Shingo, basically, he just can't lose to Volter. And then he'll be in there. But even then, he's only lost to Pac. So, just by tiebreaker, he's going to win and, and go on to the, the finals, or the semifinals, for Block C. So that's interesting. So we'll see what happens with Shingo and Volter. So Volter's going to beat him. So that's just a tough break there for everybody else involved. Pac and Brody Lee. Brody Lee's going to beat Pac. That is interesting. Brody's going to finish with 8. Pac with 10. Wow. Volter has more points than Pac. Shibata and Miro's a banger, though. So, uh, we're going to set this for Steel Show. Miro's going to get the win there. And then Deku Namora, Carl Fredericks. As Deku Namora will finish with... 14 as well. He's going to tie Shingo. So just a tough break all around for uh, everyone in Block C. So yeah, we need that Zack Saber Jr. Shinsuke Nakamura match. And it's going to be about 38 minutes. And Zack Saber Jr. We'll be beating Shinsuke Nakamura. So I think a lot of people probably would assume Shinsuke was going to get the win here. Nope. 
Zack Sabre Jr. Going on to the semifinals, wins the tiebreaker match. Banger. Absolute banger. And then, for the opener, uh, we'll have Naito and Bushi team up to take on the team of... Yeah, let's go Lucha Brothers. And we'll have Naito beat Pentagon. Hell yeah. Decent little match. Okay, it's still just because we have, have booked Okada. Oh, and I clicked the wrong thing. Yeah, we're just, yeah, we're just gonna wait it out for Kanto, because I know we're just gonna run the final show there. So we're on the convention center. And that is day 35, as Naito and Bushi beating uh, Pentagon Jr. Ray Phoenix, but probably shouldn't have. Bushi Brothers outperformed him as uh, Destino for Naito on Pentagon Jr. Some of match, fun match though. 67 for Fredericks and Takuya Nomura. As, uh, yeah, Takuya Nomura, the 63, Dragon Suplex, 20-minute matchup. Takuya Nomura, just interesting enough, just because everybody wanted to put him over, he ended up having a great G1. And the 64 for Shibata and Miro, they don't click. God damn it. It's Miro with the Bullplex. Just can't have anything. 89, though, for Pac and Brody Lee, as Pac takes the big boot in 24 minutes. Big win for Brody. 77 for Volter and Shingo. It's a burning layer for Volter over Shingo. Three-way tie, though, there between Shingo, Miro, and Takuya Nomura. Obviously, Shingo with the tiebreakers. Then on 90, for the rematch here, is Zack Sabre Jr. with the Zack Driver in 38-29. And he's going to take on Tanahashi. Now we get to see who's going to take on Shingo on the semifinal show. Who it will be for Block D. But, yeah, that was, uh, that was a banger. It was a banger for sure. I think a lot of guys, you know, as far as in their first G1s, they were pretty impressive. You know, Volter and what we've seen from Tyler Black. I mean, we've seen some, some good stuff. Yeah, I can't believe we're at the end, though. Uh, we're at the, the last block tournament show. 36 days in the book. Cannot believe it. Alrighty, the final tournament block show is here. As uh, we have Sonata and Brian Nelson, which is obviously the the match that will dictate all of this, to be honest. But Tyler Black and Roger Strong's a fun one. <laughs> Obviously, a uh, Ring of Honor throwback. Uh, but yeah, then Ishii's passing on tips of microphone work to Tomoya Harada. It's Brody King and Will Hobbs as well. That's a big-time matchup. If Brody King can beat Will Hobbs, that, that's going to change a lot of things going on there. Brody King beats Will Hobbs. Poor Will Hobbs. Losing there. Roddy and Tyler Black. Roddy's going to beat Tyler Black. That's a big win for Roddy. Then, Sonata and Brian Danielson. Brian Danielson will be winning. So the only champion to get out of their block successfully is Brian Danielson. So we got Brian and Shingo. And we have Zack Sabre Jr. and Hiroshi Tanahashi. It's a pretty big G1. That's, that's pretty massive. As, uh, yeah, we... Uh, let's see, we'll probably... Put that there, because, yeah, I just want to double-check. Because, yeah, Brian's going to have 13. Hobbs stays at 12. Tyler Black stays at 12. Or, stays at 10, rather. We'll see where Kingston's at. Either way, he's going to fall one short. If he beats Ishii, if he doesn't, he does beat him. So there is that, but... It's a good good match for, for Eddie Kingston. Just not enough there, really. And then Josh Alexander and Evil. Josh Alexander going to beat Evil. That is not bad at all. We need to steal the show match, though, for this. Techno Masterclass for the the opener. As I will go with, um... Let's go with Bushi and Garcia. Bushi and Daniel Garcia. Well, Bushi get the win. Have we done this before? Okay, I was about to say, I don't think we have. Noise, noise, noise. So yeah, we're just gonna pick this last venue. So yeah, I guess it will be the Osaka Joe Hall Arena. 
for day 36. as a 63 for the opener. Garcia outperforms him. Boost with the MX. That's good shit from Dan Garcia, that was. Josh Alexander with the TKO over Evil, 23.55. 73 for Eddie Kingston and Tomori Ishii. As the back to fist to the future for Eddie Kingston there gets the win. Hobbs and Brody King. Too short for an important match in the eyes of the audience. Brody King was off his game as well. But the Gonzo Bomb, cool finish. Cool fucking finish. And then Tyler Black, Roger Strong, sick kick from Roddy. Gets the win in 25.50. Which will mean our main event. Is a 95. Spryan beats Sonata with a LaBelle lock. I think that's the right decision. If there's going to be a champion to win their block, Brian Danielson's definitely a great choice. He was fantastic. Brian, Sonata, and uh, yeah, I guess Tyler Black. Great stuff there. So yeah, you know what the two, the main and co-main is, but we got to figure out the rest of the card for this semifinals. And obviously, we don't even know what the finals is going to look like as well. So that's, we're going to get those together, and we'll be back to run the semifinals and finals of the 33rd annual G1 Climax. Alrighty, so the card for the semifinals and finals is set, and you see how we're going to look <laughs> going into the finals. So the semifinal matchups, Zack Sabre Jr. versus Roger Tanashi, and Shingo versus Brian Danielson. And the winners will be Zack Sabre Jr. and Brian Danielson. So for the first time in the history of the G1 Climax, two Gaijins. Ending out the tournament, the U.S. champion Brian Danielson and Zack Sabre Jr. I think it's going to be a pretty solid finals. Uh, hopefully, everything goes well in that matchup. We're also going to have a New Japan Strong Openweight title matchup on the semifinals show. As is a uh, never openweight six-man tag team title matchup and a junior tag team title matchup. So we'll have three title matches on that card. As Juice is going to take on Kota Bushi for the Strong Openweight title. And then Dark Order of... Both, you know, that's going to be Orders of Destruction plus uh, Brody Lee taking on Task Force Death because every single one of those guys, Brody had, you know, had gotten a win over Pac and then Tankman beat Kinta and uh, then uh, Hobbs, rather, beat Eddie Kingston. So literally every single one of those guys in Dark Order beat the one of the champions during the G1 Climax. So I just felt like that made sense to have that match take place here. We're going to have a six-man of Chaos versus L.I.J. as Ashino, Doring, and Tomori Ishii taking on Hiromu, Naito, and Sanada. Junior Tag Team Battle matchup as Blastoff taking on Dan Makabe and Jonathan Gresham. That's not, unfortunately, going to be Jason Lee and Fuminari Abe. That's going to be Fuminari Abe and Shun Skywalker because Jason Lee, of course, got hurt. So that's unfortunate, but that still should be a good matchup. Eight-man tag between the United Empire and the House of Enochism. United Rage, Falter, Josh Alexander taking on Shibata, Fredericks, Coughlin, and Connors. Or Fredericks, since <laughs> I forgot the D. <laughs> there we go. And uh, to kick off the show, it's going to be Bushi versus Show, mainly because we're doing Shingo and Dance and just felt like we needed to have a Dragon's Den LIJ match on this card. And fortunately, there's not like a lot of room left. We could have had maybe Shingo and Bushi in a tag, but we're going to do that on the final show. But the finals, IWGP Tag Team got a matchup. As the co-main event, Joe Doring and Ashino taking on Hiromu and Naito. That's big. Ashino looking to become a double champ. And then Tanashi's taking on Jay White for the never open weight title. Jonathan Gresham gets his title match against Ray Fenix. He's the only guy who beat Ray Fenix during the uh, the uh, Best Super Juniors. That's why that match is taking place. Eight-man tag between Rushmore and Blastoff. As uh, that's going to be, for Blastoff, that's going to be uh, basically Ibushi, Takuya Nomura. Well, I guess everybody that's left because, you know, Jason Lee's hurt, so... Got to run through that team. Uh, then we're going to have Hayato Tamora and Daniel, Gar uh, Daniel Garcia taking on the Great Okan and Lee Moriarty. You know, just, you know, since we're doing Dragon's Den and United Empire in the finals, I like it made sense to do a, you know, Dragon's Den United Empire match here on this card. House of Torture, which is going to be Brody King and Miro against the Order of Destruction, of course, that is Tankman and Hobbs. Then to kick off the show, Shingo and Bushi taking on Tomori Ishii and Rocky Romero. Should be a banger. Hopefully everything goes well on that on those two shows. Let's run the semifinals first, obviously. And they got us in Yokohama Arena. So I we'd have a pretty nice sized venue for this show. Uh, but uh, Satoshi Kojima passing on microphone work to Hayato Tomora. And uh, same thing for Ishii passing on microphone work to Tomoya Harada. So, uh, the big thing here is I don't think we're going to run Kanto. And 
I wish I could run the Osaka Dome, but I think we're just going to run the fucking General Gymnasium. Because that just seems like the best place to run, because I know we're going to sell it out. Uh, but yeah, uh, so Zack Sabre Jr., Roshi Tanahashi, I think everybody knows, yeah, yeah Zack's going to win. Should be a banger, though. They've had some great matches. They had a 99 last year in the G1. Got a lot to build on. Got a lot, lot to build on. Then Brian Danielson and Shingo, which uh, they had a U.S. title match, and Shingo beat him during the G1 last year. So a little follow-up from that, the trilogy, if you will. Brian Danielson getting that win. Then the uh, junior, or not about to say junior, wait, the New Japan Strong Open weight, rather, title matchup, Juice, Kota Ibushi. Kota Ibushi's going to win. That's his third defense? Might be more. Fourth defense. Yeah, he's had the belt for a while. That's the tied now for the most defenses. Tied uh, Zack Sabre Jr.'s reign. And Dark Order, Task Force Death for the six-man tag team titles. And it is a win for the Dark Order team. So, Task Force Death, what a team here. And they did not have a single defense. They had the belt for two months. And because it was during the, the G1, they didn't have to defend it. Uh, so, that's, uh, that's quite an interesting run for uh, the Task Force Death team. But yeah, this is the first time, have they ever, all three of them, like Brody, Tankman, and Hobbs, been the Never Point Six Man champs? I don't think so. Wow. That's wild. So that's a first. I think that's a hell of a six man team, honestly. That's a hell of a trio. I, I mean, that should be a really good match, though. Then Chaos versus LIJ, that six man. As uh, Shitoru Shino is going to beat Sonata in 20 minutes. Building up to the tag title matchup, obviously, there. As United Empire versus... Oh, uh, no, we're not doing this now. Um, I, I was thinking, it's this match next. Okay. I was all over the place. As uh, Blastoff versus United Empire. Jonathan Gresham beating Shun Skywalker in 20 minutes there. Oh, yeah, we got to put the belts on the line. If they've been a hell of a junior team. Now this United Empire House of Nokiaism. As it's going to be still a show match, it's Falter's going to beat Shibata. Oh, Shibata's the agent. Shado can do it. And Bushi and Sho to kick off the show. <laughs> so Bushi beats him in 16 minutes. And yeah, that's, that is the semifinals. Let's run the show. 61 for the opener. It's Bushi with the Ashi Road over Sho in 16 minutes. It's a, it's a big match. Big match to win, for sure. 61 here again, as uh, Clark Connors gets injured. Falter by the 75, 76 for the Great Ocon, 71 for Josh Alexander. I mean, the United Empire are just fucking stacked. Coughlin and Connors did well. Just, you know, Shabbat is the worst guy in the goddamn match. It pains me. Absolutely pains me. Someone should just take him out back and put him out of his fucking misery. It's killing me. 82 here for the Junior Tag Team Battle Match. It's Makabe and Gresham taking on Shun Skywalker and Fumin Ayabe as... They get the win for their fifth defense as the octopus stretch for Jonathan Gresham getting the win before his title match with Ray Fenix. As Hiromu gets hurt, god damn it, as uh, that doesn't sound good, we'll probably have to... Yeah, I mean, that's it's an interesting one because someone's going to have to take his place. It's, it's either going to be Shingo or Sonata because I don't think that's going to... I don't think he's going to be able to work with that. That fucking sucks. First cross armbar, though, for Machino on Sonata. 20 minutes. I'm surprised I didn't get over an 85, but it was Machino who caused it, so thanks a lot, Shatoru Machino. There's a 94 for this Never Avoid Six Man tag title matchup. What a match. As, uh, yeah, uh, Will Hobbs pinning at A. Kingston with the Order of Business. What a win. What a win for the Dark Order team. 83 for the New Japan Strong Point title matchup. Kodo Bushi with the last ride style Tiger Driver. That's his fourth defense and pretty bang up match between him and Juice. 97 for Brian Danson and Shingo Takagi. Cattle mutilation for Shingo, or on Shingo rather, in 3038. It's good stuff. What's up, Brian Danson's the man and a 95 for our main event. As Zack Saber Jr. beats Hiroshi Tanahashi. The finals are set. We're breaking tradition. We're doing something new. But I think that's a hell of a main event. <laughs> For a G1 Climax Finals, too. Brian Danson versus Zack Sabre Jr. Yeah, sign, sign me up. Yeah, it's a, a pretty good semifinals. Pretty good semifinals, if I do say so myself. I'll just put over everybody that was in, that did really well. Like in the main and whatnot. 
I just I can't believe Hiromu got hurt though. Like that just fucking sucks. We'll have to see how he's doing. If we have to change the uh, titles around or anything, just unfortunate there with the injury. But now to the final show of the final part of the G1 Climax 33, and uh, we'll see who's punching their ticket to Wrestle Kingdom. Potentially. And obviously, with the briefcase involved, you, you never know. Is it going to be Zack Sabre Jr., or is it going to be Brian Danielson? We shall see. Alrighty, so unfortunately, uh, Hiromu is out for this show. Luckily, he's only out for 14 days, so it could have been a lot worse. But uh, Tanaka's going to replace him, and uh, it's it's unfortunate. You know, it's, it's really unfortunate because that would have built up. Because Hiromu and Ashino, the idea was for this tag team title matchup to Hiromu beat Ashino since they have the draw to build up to a title match in the future. But now that's out of the question because, you know, again, Ashino and Hiromu, that was the finals of G1 last year. And it just felt like that was a great time to build up on that. It just sucks. It just sucks. Robbie Eagles. Cooking for everyone. Whipping up pancakes. What a savage. As uh, Zack Sabre Jr., Brian Dallison. As uh, Zack Sabre Jr. is your winner of the G1 Climax. What a win for that man. That man has done just about everything. And you see the time. 58 minutes. Really the idea for this... <laughs> I would just tell Brian before and just be like, Listen, the, the match was Roger, Roger Strong when he went like 60-some minutes. Kind of worked the same thing with Zack. <laughs> But trade holds and really let it be a flat out, just you guys technically do whatever the fuck you want. Make it look like it's an actual fight at times with the way you're grappling. And just really, I mean, just go full tilt. Like, do whatever you want to do. Just giving two, in this case, two artists, the, the blank camps, do whatever they want. And uh, hopefully it's a banger. Hopefully. There, but Brian's been unhappy about the finish. That's okay. That is okay. So, the co-main is that tag team title matchup, which now doesn't feel so great. But, uh, Naito's gonna beat Joe Doring. I had to change that, obviously. But, yeah, I, I still think it's gonna be a pretty good match. It's just, I don't think it's gonna be as great as it once was, unfortunately. But Tanashi is the new Never Boy champion. It's crazy to think. He was the champion... I don't think he was the champ right when we started. No, he... Um, won the belt from Shingo, and then he had to vacate the belt because he got hurt, and Zack got the belt. But, uh, yeah, now Tanashi back as the Never Boy champion again. Hopefully he's able to fully hold on to that reign and not just vacate it. Hopefully he'll be able to put somebody over. Gresham and Ray Phoenix. Ray Phoenix gets the win in 24 minutes. I mean, that's his seventh title defense. He's just been on a tear. Rushmore versus Blastoff. Roderick Strong beating Shroom Skywalker. In 20 minutes. And he has Lamar and Daniel Garcia. Uh, versus the Great Okan and Lee Moriarty. What a fun match. Because these are four guys that have really built themselves up throughout the save. They started pretty much at the bottom of the barrel when we started. And now, look at them. You know, Lamar is going to do like an 80. Okan's going to do around like a 70. And they're going to do about 65, 70. You know, Daniel Garcia and Lee Moriarty. So this is just a a proud papa match is what this is. To see all these guys, how, how well they've worked. Out and uh, Hayao Tomorrow is going to beat Lee Moriarty there in 22 minutes. Then House of Torture versus Order of Destruction. See the show matchup. Will Hops gets that win over Brody King. Gets that win back. And then LIJ versus Chaos. Rocky's going to beat Bushi there in 18 minutes. Wow, we got to either cut 7 minutes or give it more time. I think we're going to just give it more time. Give it a 3.30 show. So now we got to do some of the post-show stuff. So the first one, be Zack Sabre Jr. First British champion of the G1. Very happy for that man, because he's deserved it, for sure. And he talks about how he's going to be the now the first English-born IWGP Heavyweight Champion, and the first English-born Man, the main event of Wrestle Kingdom and win. So there's a lot of a lot riding on the line. Post show, post conference for Brian Danielson. Danielson, a little you know distraught, a little angered, but you know he just says, "Yeah, we put it all out there. You know we wrestled. Uh, you know, for, you know it seems like 58, you know 57 minutes. Puts over Zach though, and I think that's a big thing to to really do as far as 
you know, he, he's been kind of a reminiscent of when they first wrestled. And he kind of put him over at the end by raising his hand. And, you know, he just said, you know, I've seen this man start with nothing and, and build his way up. And to see what he can do here in New Japan and being a G1 Climax winner is, you know, it's, Honestly, it was, I wouldn't, you know, it's talking about how he wouldn't wish, you know, to face anybody else but him, to be honest, because he wanted to prove that he's, he's the best technical wrestler in the world, and he just came up short today. And that's just, I think that, at the end of the day, that's kind of all we need to say, really, with this, because that's more for Zach than, than anything, you know, as far as that goes. There is going to be a video, uh, there's going to be two, like, little promo videos. So the first one, promo video, so... Um, countdown. Yeah, we'll just go promo video countdown <laughs> towards NYC. So, yeah, just the time clock counting down. Just shows the time. It doesn't say what exactly, but you know, it's counting down, and everyone figures out on Twitter. It's like, oh, it's, it's counting down to Russell Dynasty. But uh, that, that video would be played. After the Ray Phoenix match. But we're just going to put it as a post-show thing. Because it's it's much easier this way. And uh, we have a video package. Or not a video package. It's a video promo. <laughs> live from so, so, live via satellite. It's Okada. Looks bad his injury. It says. He will not. Have to. Vacate. I see. Title. So yeah, basically, uh, it's just saying it uh, doesn't have to vacate. He'll be back. He's looking forward to, to return. He missed out on the G1. He missed out on a lot of big time matches. He bums him out, but he's looking to get back to that that final form of Kazuchika Okada to be the Rainmaker again, be the top guy in New Japan again. So just pretty straightforward stuff. We're not really reinventing the wheel at this uh, G1 show. But yeah, let's run it. Let's not even worry about pre-show stuff. We had a hell of a tour. Let's just get it rocking and rolling. 71, though, for the opener. Rocky beating Bushi with the ankle lock. Shingo and Bushi doing a really good job there. Probably the wrong team won. But that's all right. 75 for Order of Destruction against House of Torture. It's a good little match. Obviously, we had to have a Steal the Show match. And this kind of hurt it a little bit because they're so important. You know, both Tankman and Hobbs. But it's a good match. Doomsday Plunge from Will Hobbs there over Brody King. 82. That's crazy. And I say, oh, Tamora. And uh, Dan Garcia, they get the win. It's out tomorrow, pinning Lee Moriarty. Yeah, I mean that's that, that, that hits you. That's a that's a fun match. I can't believe I didn't pick the venue, the Yokohama Arena. Eighty four for the eight man of Rushmore and Blastoff is Kotobushi. Um, Blastoff losing to Rushmore. It's Roger Strong pinning, or rather submitting. Shun Skywalker with the stronghold. AJ with an eighty one. Eighty two for Nick Jackson and Kotobushi with a ninety one. It's a good stuff, obviously. AJ beat Abushi during the G1, so he's got a you know, never open weight, or a New Japan Strong, rather, open weight title match in the future. Just kind of building to that. 88 for Ray Phoenix and Jonathan Gresham as Ray Phoenix making his seventh defense. Gets him up to Meteora. It's good stuff. Good stuff there. 90 for the never open weight title matchup between Hiroshi Tanahashi and Jay White as Tanahashi with the high fly flow. And he's your new never open weight champion. Good little run for Jay White, but I think it's definitely time. Oh, 92. For Sonata and Naito against Joe Doring and Ashino. Their fifth defense, you know, for Naito and Hiromo slash Sonata now in this case. Now, 98. For the G1 Climax Finals, Brian Danielson, Zack Sabre Jr., 58 minutes. And he gets a win with a Zack Driver. That's fucking crazy. That The 58 minute match was a 98. Post show stuff. Yeah. That all went well. Wow. What a show. Very pleased with that. Obviously, Zach. I mean, Zach and Brian, they wrestled for 58 minutes. And it was a 98. Like, that's crazy. They did a really, really good job. And, uh, honestly, Naito. Naito did, like, a lot of the heavy lifting in that tag title matchup. That was that was really impressive. Very, very impressive. And that will do it for the G1. Another G1 in the books. On to the King of Pro Wrestling now. One of my favorite little gimmicks that we do. The little multi-man match is building up to a tournament. And, of course, the winner of the King of Pro Wrestling takes on the IWGP Everweight Champion at Wrestle Dynasty. So that should be a banger. And uh, I'm excited to see what all the matches we cook up and who wins this damn thing. 
Uh, but, you know, as far as potentially there, whoever wins that, you gotta, you're gotta you eyeing the future. You're seeing what potentially Zack Sabre Jr. is, is waiting on you for at, at Wrestle Kingdom. So that's it's a big match. It's a big match for sure. Because right now, just Ashino and Zack Sabre Jr., that match, if that is the match... That's an incredible match. Like that, that should be a, a banger of a main event. They had SummerSlam the same night as our G1 Climax Finals. We had a better show. Eat shit. Damn it, lost to the, the... Yeah, we had the better match. Fuck yeah. Hell yeah. But yeah, on to the King of Pro Wrestling Tour next. Thank you all for watching, and we'll catch you guys next time. Uh, you know, as far as if you're celebrating Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving, everyone. No, that's tomorrow, so... Enjoy your turkey, enjoy your your stuffing, other things that you make. Yeah, because, I mean, Thanksgiving's tremendous. Just the food, quite delicious. I am a food fan. <laughs> it brings me a lot of joy. So to have a holiday just centered, centered around food, it's pretty awesome. Pretty A-plus job there. Yeah, thank you all, and we'll catch you guys next time. Take care, everyone.